A new economic superpower may soon form. Leaders from 16 countries finished talks yesterday at the very first East Asia Summit, EAS. Their biggest aim is to cooperate on trade to create the world's largest trading bloc called the Asian Economic Community, AEC. They were full of high hopes that they could cooperate on many issues. The community would be similar to the European Union. It would have a quarter of world trade and over half of the world's population within its borders. It would dominate global business and compete with other regional alliances such as the EU and NAFTA. The AEC would include the ASEAN countries plus China, South Korea, Japan, India, Australia and New Zealand. Japanese Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi said the talks were very successful in moving towards a broader economic community. He said, we see eye to eye on many things. The next step is to organize the dozens of free trade agreements between various countries in the region into one agreement. This would optimize business and trading efficiency. The region would then be a mega market that should guarantee long-term financial security for all EAS countries. Volunteering is a great way to learn new skills, from working as part of a team to setting and reaching goals. It gives you a chance to discover what kinds of things you're best at and enjoy the most. A volunteer job that you love can even help shape your ideas about your career goals. Volunteering also can give you a sense of responsibility because people really depend on you. And it can help you develop a new understanding of people who are different from you, people with disabilities, people in financial distress, sick kids, or the elderly. Kathy, we need some help for the charity show on Saturday. Do you think you can help? Sure. What do you want me to do? I can do some of the cooking if you need. No, the cooking is taken care of. Okay, what about the clearing up? I can pick up the litter off the floor. There's going to be a lot of people around, and the park will get pretty messy, I think. John and Lindsay have volunteered to do all of that. So what do you want my help for? The talent contest? I'm sorry? Yeah, you know, the talent contest we're doing. The problem is, we don't think many people will volunteer to take part unless there are some people already signed up. So I want you to put your name down to do something. But I can't do anything. Sure you can. No, seriously, Ben. I am the last person you want for a talent show. I don't have any. You don't have any what? Talent! Look, I asked Graham, and he said he would tell a few jokes to begin the show. Have you heard any of Graham's jokes? He can't tell jokes, Ben. Who else do you have? Your mother agreed to play a piece of music on the clarinet, something from a film. Oh, that'll be nice. She can play well. All right. So now we need you to do something. What can you do really well? I can cook. I don't think people are going to want to watch you cook, Kathy. I can do some card tricks. That could be a nice idea. Do they always work? I can practice. They usually work. Hmm. Is there anything else you can do? Well, I can't dance, and I can't juggle. What about singing? Can you sing? My voice isn't too terrible. I can sing the national anthem quite well. Hey, that's great. It will only take a couple of minutes, and with three volunteers already, I think other people will be less shy to sign up. What time does the talent show start? Around three in the afternoon. Oh no, I'm on Susan's cookery stall until four. Can you escape for just five minutes? Not really, but if you want, I can sing my song at the end of the show instead of the beginning. Yeah, that sounds perfect. We'll finish up at around five. Okay, agreed. Put me down as the last act in the talent show. Thanks a lot, Kathy. I really appreciate it. Sure, no problem.